by the title i'm gonna be showing y'all how to get clear skin I'm basically just gonna be showing y'all my routine and like what i do to keep my skin clear and how i just keep up with my skin so before we get into this video make sure y'all follow me on my socials and let's get into this video so as i'm showing y'all like products and the stuff that i use for my skin i'm gonna kind of like go over it and like explain to y'all like stuff that i feel like y'all shouldn't use on your skin like i'm gonna just be recommending a lot of stuff to y'all that i use with my skin even though it's just simple stuff that i do to my skin so of course the first thing if you watch my skincare videos or morning routines or whatever and i'm doing my skincare of course i have to have the noxzema you can get noxzema from the dollar store you can get it from walmart whatever like you can really find this anywhere don't make me lie i don't really know like the price of noxzema i'm pretty sure it's like five to six dollars but it's under ten dollars i know that for sure i know it's a lot of different kind of noxzemas they probably have one for like different skin types this one is just the original i just get different ones it really don't matter i just whichever one i see i get so before i get started with my skincare before i put this on my face i like to wet up a towel and with like some warm water and just wipe my face like that's literally all i do and then i go in with my noxzema and i'm gonna show y'all like some stuff that i want to try for this video so i'm gonna be trying some face masks in this video just because i never tried it before and i just want to see like how it works so the first thing i'm gonna do is get my towel and warm it up with some hot water and i'm gonna wipe it over my face so that's the first thing that i'm gonna do so this is the towel i'm gonna be using just a little pink towel or whatever and my tip to y'all because like i said as i'm going through my skincare routine i do want to give y'all some tips do not let people scare y'all to not using towels because i remember i used to do the most to my skin and i said it a lot in my skincare routines but do not let people scare y'all into doing skincare like people would always say don't use a towel use like a spinning brush that's what broke my skin out that's the reason why my skin used to always break out because i used to use spinning brushes and it always used to peel my skin like literally like around my nose and stuff and around my lips so i wouldn't recommend you use a spinning brush i have dry skin then i have oily skin like i just got a mixture so i wouldn't recommend you use a spinning brush unless you have oily skin so it won't really be taking like a lot of stuff off your skin but if you have dry skin a spinning brush is a no-no because what is it picking up off your skin it's making your skin even more dry so i recommend y'all use a towel people always be saying stuff like oh bacteria oh this or that you get bacteria based off of anything you do if you ask me so just be normal have a normal skincare routine if your skin always breaking out it could be possibly because you do the most to your skin that's why i have a simple skincare routine so now i'm about to start all right so i just wet my towel up and another thing it does not have to be always hot it could be cold it doesn't matter i will wipe my lips but i don't have no lip gloss or chapstick on me right now well actually let me just go ahead and wipe my lips so you just wiping your face i should have put like a scarf or something around my edges but i might see me with my hair like this most of the time because this is like a chill type of hairstyle i don't be having time and then it's a protective hairstyle but this ain't about hair so so another thing about me i like to get in my eyes and stuff i just like to get everywhere so just wipe it you don't want to be rough to your skin, but this is what I do. I don't be using all that high-tech stuff and all them uh, spinning brushes and stuff because that's, like, really useless. I feel like that should be only for people with oily skin. Because if you have dry skin, it's like you're really digging up your skin. What is it to dig up when you have dry skin? When your skin dry, I feel like you don't have to be scrubbing your face. It's going to make it even more dry. All right, so I wiped it as best as I can, as y'all can see. So now it don't really look oily like it looked at at first. So now it really look dry. That's where we're gonna go in with the Noxzema. What Noxzema is, is some type of deep cleansing cream. But it's like something that of course you have to wash off your face. Look at this, like I barely have some. One thing about Noxzema is that you can have this for like two years and then like it'll still be here. Like I had this since 10th grade, like the second semester of 10th grade and I still have it. And number one, it's because I don't use it every day. I only use it for like when I'm really doing a pamper or something. But what you do is you just take a little because you don't need a lot. And what it does is it just like gives your skin like this sizzling feeling. It makes your skin feel like it's doing something. So I just like stuff that opens my skin up. If you ever use peppermint oil on your hair, you would feel like your scalp opening up. That's how this feel on your face. Like it just feel like something that's opening your face up. Like I said, I should have tied my hair up. But I don't do what everybody be doing. Everybody be tying their hair up just to die. I'm just trying to get this out the way. So that's all. 
all you do is you just take a little and let me top this up because i don't need no more i look like i'm gonna go work out with my hair like this but this is literally all you do now people say this help with acne i don't know how true that is don't make me lie i'm not gonna sit here and lie on camera and say this work for no acne but I put it over my lips too. But you're just rubbing it like on your skin and stuff because it really opens your skin up. So if you want your skin to feel open or your pores to feel open and clean, Noxzema is the go-to. It's something that you should really use on your skin. So make sure you get that everywhere. And you do want to make sure that you take care of your neck too because your neck is part of your body as well. And your ears and all of that. Like people be forgetting about all of that stuff. This is what I do. And what I like to do is no certain time or no amount of time that I leave this on my face. I just leave this on my face until I stop feeling the tingle because like i said noxema gives your skin a tingle type of feeling like it's really cleaning that's why it's a deep cleansing because it feels it's just cleaning your skin for you it's like you ain't gotta do nothing believe it on your face and then wash it off i'm about to wash it off now even though i just applied it to my skin we're just gonna leave this on just for like a couple of seconds so i'm gonna just count to 10 and yeah i'm gonna wash this off my face one two three four five now we're gonna wash this off our face so when i wash it i like to use my towel first people just usually just rinse it off right away but i like to take my towel and massage my skin in circular motion first with it and then wash it off and use my towel again you don't have to do this you can just wash it off right away don't forget about the neck so now we're gonna rinse this off i just rinse it off with like cold water it really don't matter whichever water temperature pop up that's what i'm using because i also have nose rings so i do clean them as well and i also put noxzema on my nose too because i mean my nose gotta be clean and yeah i'm gonna wash this towel off with some soap and then yeah i just rinsed it off and i'm gonna take the towel and when i'm washing my face like rinsing it and stuff you want to rinse it until your skin feel like it's not moist no more like you don't feel that noxzema on your face i can't really describe it but you will know when to stop rinsing your face off you will know but you will know when it's time to like when it's finished like when you done rinsing your face off because your skin has like this little stretchy feeling i can't describe it but yeah so that's what i do let's do that and one thing about me i don't use no type of soap on my face and the reason i don't use soap is because when you a lot of people be leaving soap on their face and i just be like like a lot of people leave soap on their face then they complain about having acne number one you're not supposed to leave soap well me i cannot leave soap on my face because my skin will break out right away like i will of course get little bumps on my skin because soap be feeling like sticky it feel like something sticky that's not meant to be left on your face so if you leave soap on your face and then you be having acne that's why because of soap you're not really supposed to leave soap on your face but i can't speak for everybody like i said everybody's skin type is different actually i didn't say that but everybody's skin type is different but if you notice like you wash your face with soaps and it break out that's because of the soap so now my skin is of course looking fresh as always i have this indian healing clay this aztec secret clay and i never used this before and i got it today this is not a part of my skincare routine but i did buy it today and i want to use it and i'm using for this video so i already opened it to see like i thought it was gonna be some type of made clay already but it looks like you have to add water to it but i'm not gonna add water to this i'm gonna pour it in a bowl because the person told me to like when i use it to put some water or something like that so i got my little mixing bowl and i'm gonna just put this like put some in there i don't think i'm gonna need a lot i don't know i never used this before i never watched no videos on it but i did i think i used to watch videos on this and i always wanted this because i think people say you can use this in your hair too but this is what i'm gonna use on my face just so i can give y'all a real honest review on how this works because i never used it so we're gonna use it today so of course this i should have known like it's clay so of course it's gonna look like that so i'm not gonna put a lot i'm not gonna put a lot i might put a lot i don't know but i got my little bowl and i'm gonna just pour this inside of it if you used this before you can give me some tips in the comments because i don't know how to use this so i just put a little because i don't want to put too much if i got less then i'm gonna add more i'd rather have less than have more because like i don't know so i feel like i'm supposed to add water like i said let me read these directions because people really do not read so it say let it dry for five to ten minutes mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar or water okay so I guess you're supposed to add water to this and make it equal, like how much clay I put in here is how much water I'm supposed to put in here. I don't know, I guess that's what that means when it say equal. So we are gonna put some water in here and I'm gonna mix it with my hand cause I'm about to use my hands to apply it. So I didn't put too much water, but I added some and I'm gonna use my finger. This supposed to, y'all see that smoke? Like I said, if you used this before, 
you can help a sister out because I don't know how to use this. Okay, I think I put a good amount of water because it's like a thick paste. I don't know if it's supposed to be thick or is it supposed to be like liquidy. I think this is too much because I don't think I'm, my face is not, it could take enough. So we finna just put this on our skin. So I mix it with my hand and now we finna apply it. Let me show y'all so y'all can see if I did it right. I don't know if I'm supposed to add more water or leave it like this, but who cares? We gonna try it today. So I'ma just, I'ma put it over my eyebrows too. Cause every mask that I do, I put over my eyebrows on this. It's a peeling mask. This is just a clay mask. So my eyebrows wanna be clean and portrait too. So actually this is too much because this is enough for my whole face, which is fine. I think you can use this on your body. So I'm gonna do like a body thing. I'm gonna put it over my nose too. Like my face, when I do face masks, I put it everywhere. Like my nose getting it, my eyebrows getting it, all that. Y'all ain't safe. I don't really like clay masks y'all cause they be feeling so weird. Like it just, I don't know, it just feel weird. So hopefully this don't feel weird cause I have a clay mask already. If you watch my skincare routines, you probably didn't seen it, the green one. And it looks exactly like this one. I just don't like the way clay masks feel. The point of it is to have your skin feeling tight and that's exactly how my skin be feeling. I don't like that tight feeling. So we're gonna apply this, don't get it in my hair cause I don't know what that's gonna do. So this is a cute mask though. So I am smart, I used the bowl to say this my first time because I wish I would add water to this. I feel like the point of it is to pour it in a bowl. Cause what if I wanted to try some apple cider vinegar and I already poured water in it? It just feels like a regular clay mask, but we gonna let it do its magic if it does magic. All right, so I finished applying it y'all and I'm about to let it sit for like five to 10 minutes like you said, but most likely 10 minutes and I will be back. So all right y'all, so it has been 20 minutes already, probably already past 20 minutes, but the rest of the clay mask I put on like my legs and my stomach because I mean, they do say you can use it on your body. So I just put it places that I feel like it might need it because I didn't want it to go to waste because we don't waste stuff, especially if it's costing money or whatever. I don't care if it's cheap or not. This is what it looks like. And of course I am struggling to talk. That's why I do not like wearing clay masks because I don't like the feeling of them. All right, so I'm about to rinse it off with some warm water because that's what it says you need to rinse it off with some warm water. So that's what we finna do. And I will be back once I'm finished. Now I'm not gonna lie, this clay mask feel like every other clay mask that I use on my skin. For every other clay mask that I use, I just take my towel when I can't really get all of it and I just wipe it off and I go over it again with some water just to make sure it is off like fully. Oh wait, my piercing coming out. And that was hard to get in. So right now we're just gonna wipe it off with the towel and you know, just the parts we couldn't really wash off. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna rinse our face again just to make sure it's off like completely, so. All right, so this is what my skin looks like after I wipe it and I'm about to rinse it off and come back and show y'all what it looks like. All right, so I definitely, I kind of see a difference. Like, I don't know if it added a glow to my skin, but my skin always glowing. So I don't even know the difference. Like, I just be doing face masks just to do them because I feel like face masks be fun to do. I don't know. But like I said, it just feels like any other clay mask that I use. But I feel like it did a little something to my skin because I do have like dark marks on my face, like a couple of them. But I'm about to just continue with my skincare routine. Like I said, after the Noxzema, it's pretty much done. But I do add like some type of oil to like my eyebrows and stuff. So I could just show y'all like what I do, like stuff that I use and stuff to make my eyebrows grow. And that's really all I do. And I have like this little piercing bump cream that I put on my nose just to prevent bumps and stuff from coming. Like if you just did a piercing or something, that's the best thing to do is get like some type of piercing bump oil just to prevent them from coming or just to make them go away if you do have them. This is really all I do to my skin. Besides the Aztec clay, I just wanted to try it out and see how it worked it. But I mean, I feel like it did good. Like it just made my skin feel free and not dry because usually it will feel dry, but I guess it feel more free. I don't know. I do kind of notice a rash right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I have like a rash right here and on this side and I didn't have it before. So basically it's from the clay, but I mean, it made my skin feel smooth. Um, I have this black castor oil. You can get this from the hair store. This is exactly where I got it from. And this is just toward like the ending of my skincare. 
I have this black castor oil and what I do is I usually have my eyebrow brush something that I can't find but usually I'll take like my eyebrow brush and brush my eyebrows up so pretend like that's my eyebrow brush and then I take black castor oil put it on my finger and I rub this over my eyebrow and it, I don't care like how messy it looks because I usually do this toward nighttime and it's basically nighttime or toward nighttime so you know, this is what I do if you don't have any eyebrows you need to do this so that your eyebrows can look and feel fuller you don't really need a lot of oil but I just put like a little dot in my finger which be too much but if you have a lot of eyebrows it wouldn't be too much but I don't so I have this piercing bump shrinkage drops and I put this on my nose gonna put that you don't really need too much of that I just rub this over my piercing All right, so that's what I do, and that's my skincare routine. Like, I know it looks messy, but that's literally all I do. I don't even use the asset clay. Like I said, I just wanted to try it out in this video. So that completes the end of my skincare routine. So if y'all enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Make sure y'all follow me on my socials, and I will see y'all in the next video.